I was skeptical. Six weeks later, I went for a test, totally clear, haven't had it since. Going back 30 years that I've been interacting with it and I, I, I swear by it. And one of the things I love about bioresonance and working with animals is the fact that animals are not sitting there reading the scientific papers. It either works with animals or it doesn't. This has been improving and improving with every iteration. We're being bombarded all the time with chemicals, even if we have a healthy diet. And I'm noticing that those things that would normally knock me for six, I'm recovering from much more quickly. I have got both, as you see, because everyone who knows me knows I do not talk about things that I do not use and test myself. I'd like to share some stories about how it's really affected my life in the most incredible ways. And that for me was a really amazing example. It does what it says on the box. Right, we've got two very different backgrounds here. We'll explain that in a minute. Um, but I'm delighted to be back again with my friend Kim Kindersley. Um, and we are going to be talking about something really, really special today um, that we want everyone to know about because frequency medicine is something that everyone is getting very passionate about for and for all the right reasons. So we're going to be talking about our ultimate little healing companions. But before we dive into today's topic, Kim, um, for though we've got a lot of new listeners on the channel, for so for those of whom that haven't seen our last interview, that will be linked below. Please just introduce yourself to everyone here who's watching and tell us all about yourself. We want to know it all. Wow. Okay. Well, that's. Um, I try and keep things really brief, but um, I come from a background actually of filmmaking. If I don't go back right to the beginning. And I've been fascinated in consciousness for ages. I mean, really, my big awakening happened when I was 30 years old. So many years ago now, about 35 years ago. And I came across a dolphin in the wild. And I used to be an actor. But what happened, I had this very profound experience with this dolphin in Ireland. And what it did, it precipitated a complete change of direction in my life where I became absolutely fascinated with our connection to the natural world. And it started a journey for me on meeting healers and indigenous wisdom keepers. And, you know, that's been a journey that's taken me all around the world. I've met really fascinating people, but I suppose the biggest part of it really has been my own journey of self-healing. I, I, I believe that that's what's happening on the planet. And that directly and, and indirectly has led to the topic that we're talking about today. Um, I've been on all sorts of adventures, um, but I remember particularly actually in California, I met some Shumash Indians who were, uh, their names were Kot Lota and Alul Koi. And they were amazing people who had a place called the Whale Shrine in Malibu of all places. And I remember that they told me that they healed each other with these tiny little jaw bones of birds that would make a sound and a frequency that you couldn't hear with the human ear. Mm -hmm. And I never forgot that conversation. It was so fascinating. And then all these years later, we find ourselves talking about frequency and vibration and sound healing. So it's both a very, very ancient art, goes right back to the beginning. And, and now it's happening in a way where more and more people are finding out about it around the world. So that's a very, very short introduction to myself, but I'd, I'd say I'm a curious um, person who's on a path to self-healing. I love sharing it with others. I'm a breath worker, I'm a filmmaker. And I'm also fascinated in how on earth are we going to teach one another that we're all one, that we all breathe the same air, that we share the same earth, and that we all come from the same source and we're all going to return to the same source. So I'm big, big into 
how do we find a peaceful resolution to everything? How do we all come together as humanity? And uh, I was saying to a Manku, which is a Balinese priest today, I said, look, I think I might have to live a little bit longer because I'd like to see this happen in my lifetime. And we would we were laughing. And he was saying things like, well, thank God you're involved in regenerative medicine and things like that, because we might be waiting a little bit longer. But I have tremendous hope that we're going to make it as a species. And I believe in the goodness of human beings. So that's who I am. Or at least I it's absolutely it's love it. Animal. Honestly, I could talk to you so much. And the, the blessing for me of the work that I do now, as well as working individually with clients, is connecting with people like you, because everyone's got these little bits of the jigsaw puzzle and this enthusiasm and this knowledge and the energy is definitely contagious and so what I really love Kim is the connection I just recorded a video that I haven't put up yet about the connection of nature and how important it is because these things sound like a cliche but most people now understand all the research that's been done about the healing frequencies of cat purrs that's why I'm lucky enough to have five cats living with me now um, and also the the roar of a gorilla, the healing frequency of bees. We're all aware that frequency is everywhere, which is why we need to get out in nature and interact with it. But we've all got a frequency as well. And we we know we know what it's like to walk in a room and you can feel the energy of someone good, bad and how those all mingle in. We know that you can pick up the phone and it can change your energy. So. What we're going to really be talking about today with our beautiful bioresonance um, endogenous healing devices. Now, for those of you that really want the science and the techie stuff, I'm going to link below to some other videos. Did a brilliant video with Caroline Mansfield, who's a fantastic naturopath and lifeblood mic microscopist. I could never say it. My <laughs> microscope worker. I can't say that word for some reason. But she's amazing. So there's lo I've already really delved deep with her into the science. So frequency medicine and bioresonance is so, so important, isn't it, Kim? How did you get involved with this? Well, that's a really, really good question. I first came across bioresonance itself many, many years ago. I think it was in Australia, actually. Uh, I think I, this is going back 30 years. There's... Um, there's actually a German company called, I believe, Biocom. And the reason I mentioned them is because I believe they were the first big company. And I know that over these years since, they've sold about 20,000 of these units. So it's very important for people tuning into this who may not know too much about it, that this isn't something that just popped up yesterday. Mm. In places like Germany, and uh, Eastern European countries, it's actually very, very familiar. And in turn, that was based a lot of it upon the work of Rife that, that go, again, goes way back into the 30s, I believe. And what's important about this is that people have been using this technology in different forms for quite a while. Um, I became fascinated by it when I first got to Bali, I think 30 years ago, I found out about somebody called Ronnie, who was from Jakarta, who had a little clinic down in Sanur by the beach. And somebody told me, if you want to get help with your parasites and, and not use really, really heavy medicine, which can have very detrimental side effects, go to Ronnie. And I was really sick with, a, with an H. pylori mm. infestation. And I tried all sorts of things. Actually, I had taken antibiotics, the, the really lethal two or three of them together. And, and it seemed to be working, but it wasn't, it didn't fully succeed. Anyway, I went down there and the place was packed full of people. He had two machines and he looked at me and he said, yep, first of all, he did the test. And essentially what bioresonance does, again, I'm not a scientist. So this is for, for, for people like me, the lay person as it sends in all these frequencies into your body. And if it finds the matching one, in this case for H. pylori, it'll come up as a, oh, this is what you have inside of you. Then after the diagnostic aspect of it, it will then send the correct frequency to, to knock that out, to, to literally 
balance it out so that so that it dies and then removes itself from the body. I was skeptical. Six weeks later, I went for a test, totally clear of H. pylori, haven't had it since. And he told me, actually, it was one of the main things that he was treating people for. But that's when the seed was sown. Years later, there were different iterations of this technology, which I thought fascinating in a diagnostic sense, because instead of taking lots of blood tests, it can read your body and also your variable heart rate and all sorts of other different measurements. Um, I then was very, very fortunate a few years back to meet a, our mutual friend and, uh, you know, uh, who was also really, really into alternative medicine of all, all of all different descriptions, whether it be with water filters or EMF protection, whatever, whatever it is, and introduced me to the form of uh, this bioresonance that we're talking about today. But I, I guess that's 30, uh, going back 30 years that I've been interacting with it, and I, I, I swear by it. I'm so with you. And I was introduced to bioresonance machines by one of my absolutely brilliant um, therapist friends, Helen King. And we do a lot of stuff together mm. and she's brilliant. So shout out to Helen King. I'll put her details below. But we are going to talk today about these amazing devices. And we've got two devices here. Look at the size of them in my hand. So this one here is called the Biophotonic. This one here is called the BioNexus. We're going to talk you through a little bit about, from a user's perspective, what the differences yeah. are, the pros and cons of each, and why we love them so much. But, Kim, I want to start off by saying, for me, I've been working with practitioners with bioresonance for years, with animals mm -hmm. and humans alike. And one of the things I love about bioresonance and working with animals is the fact that animals are not sitting there reading the scientific papers. They're not listening and being fooled by what I or other people are saying. It either works with animals or it doesn't, but these are a game changer and all the details obviously below, because these are the only ones that I know that do not connect to Bluetooth and do not connect to Wi-Fi. And the first time I'll put the in link to this interview to below, that Kim and I met on camera was to talk with you with our great friend Caroline Mansfield about what Wi-Fi, what Bluetooth does to our blood and the blood doesn't lie. The results are out there. So how important is it to you, Kim, that these are standalone devices that we can use anywhere that cannot be interfered with by Bluetooth? Well, not that can't be interfered with, but do not need any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to connect to. I'd, I'd say that that was a brilliant explanation, that it, it is critical that when you're using any, this is the irony of the world, okay? Hey man, look, I've got this beautiful Fitbit or my, swap, my smart watch, which is monitoring my health via a signal from Wi-Fi that is destroying my cellular structure. You couldn't make this stuff up. Now, I'm not getting at people for not knowing it because it's not widely known. However, the literature is out there. And the irony is that when you read a mobile phone, small print or even the, you know, Wi-Fi is by its very nature, not healthy for our bodies when it comes into contact with our bodies or too close to it. So, of course, it doesn't make any sense to have any health device that's connected to the internet. Now, having said that, if you plug it in to get some download some information or update some software as a standalone thing on its own, that's fine, that's useful. Yeah. But when you're using it, and this we're gonna get onto this in a minute, it's a fascinating subject actually between these two devices. Um, it's vital that they're not connected so that the frequencies are not fighting the EMF frequency. So you need to have a kind of clear field for them to work correctly. It's vital and, and ve yeah, very important. Yeah, it's a complete game changer. So I have got both, as you see, because everyone know, knows me, knows I do not talk about things that I do not use and test myself. 
Um, the older I get, I'm not gullible anymore. <laughs> so most of the time. Um, so I want to start with the bigger one of the two, the biophotonic, Kim, and okay. wearing it around your neck. Now, the biophotonic, I'm just going to give a quick... I started with this device for me and this one for a family member, which I'm going to come on to. And the reason mm. I started with this one, Kim, is because I wanted something that I could work with with my animals and all my family members. And like you, I spent a lot of time out in nature, very active. And you can wear this one and carry on with your daily work. So talk to us a little bit about the biophotonic and why you love it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is you, you know that they come with a pouch that you can yes. wear around your neck. So I've got rather a, an extravagant one look, with a dragonfly, which is a representation of transformation and a very magical symbol here in Bali. And a beautiful woman called Katut made this for me. And I wear it and people always say, what have you got around your neck? They think that I've got my wallet in it or something. And I said, well, no, this is much more valuable than my wallet. And uh, I love... I just love the simplicity of it. And as you can see, it just turns on like this, complexes and settings. Um, I mean, what, we, what we're talking about today is the latest iteration of this. So like, it's important to know this, that any technology like an iPhone, this has been improving, improving and improving with every iteration so that getting even the antenna inside of this gets stronger. And again, I'm coming from the perspective here of a, a, a as a user, an aficionado, not a scientist. And um, this this thing for me, okay, what's I'd like to share some stories about how it's really affected my life in the most incredible ways. One of the most exciting ones, because I travel quite a bit and I get terrible uh, jet lag. Um, and I remember that you know a few years back, I was going down to Sri Lanka actually to do some whale business. I call it whale business. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I just got one. And they had a jet lag setting. So I thought, okay, that's good. That's a seven hour or whatever it is, eight hour flight. It's a good six hour time difference. So I arrived, I think in the late afternoon, I felt tired, but I got back to the hotel and guess what? I had a nice little meal. And that night I slept. I didn't have all that edginess and I just simply didn't have jet lag. And that for me was a really amazing example of how it works. And now I use it a lot for the daytime detox setting uh, because I think we're being bombarded all the time with chemicals, even if we have a healthy diet. Um, and, but, you know, not good water sometimes. So it's very, very useful on that level. I, there's a favorite of mine in here called Energy Restoration. I love that one. I love uh, the, the, its ability also to really, if I'm getting a bug or I feel like I'm going down with a traditional cold or flu or something of that nature, get it out and put it on that setting. And I'm noticing that those things that would normally knock me for six, I'm recovering from much more quickly. Now, I'm very blessed. I don't have, touch wood, any major health issues. However, I know of other people that do and for whom there's a multitude of different things. And as you know, we can never, ever make any medical claims or would we ever, ever do that. But it's, it's an incredible tool. And the great thing about this one is that everybody in a family can use it. I mean, I lend mine to people all the time and you can carry it with you wherever. And it's, it's, it's so versatile. Um, I haven't, I think I might just check the thing, but it's actually called X. No, well, let me make sure that I get this right. Exogenous bioresonance, which means that this is full of frequencies in all sorts of different combinations that are designed to have different effects. So the thing about this is that you have to hone in on, oh, I have a headache, I'm getting a cold, or oh, I need it for jet lag, I need to restore my energy, I have a toothache. So you have to participate in a way with your own diagnosis, then you go to the correct setting, 
under here by just simply pressing that on. And then you go here and you press your OK. And then all the different settings come up and you just scroll through to the one that is appropriate for you. And this is important because it'll really show us the difference between the two technologies, even though bi the bioresonance in and of itself is the same technology. The, the application of it is that in a way you have to be the di diagnostician yeah. to use this. You have to have an idea of what you're using it for, put it on the correct setting. I just pop mine in here or at night, if you want to be treating yourself, you can have it beside your bed. Often I have it beside my computer if I'm working. Um, so that's kind of the way that you relate to this. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty much addicted to it. And all the friends that I have that use it for inflammation, all sorts of different things. I have a friend who's a fantastic horsewoman. She never goes anywhere without it. I think she even wears it when she's going point a pointing or God knows whatever she does. So um, yeah. everybody I know that has one, they're never without it. It's not a thing that you leave on the shelf and take yeah. out from time to time. That's what I love. So for me, I would agree with all of that. I've noticed a huge difference. This is one I got first, Kim, because I had some mm. challenges with some of my elderly animals I wanted to work with. And mm. anyone who's got dogs and cats knows that they absolutely are so sensitive to energy. So they will not go near any device that they don't want. My cats and dogs absolutely love this. So I can use preventative programs on them as well. So for example, I've got quite a few elderly cats and so I can run the kidney program to support their kidneys because cats' kidneys are one of often the first to go. So the beauty, the pros of this is it comes mm -hmm. preloaded with lots of different programs yeah. that you can select from and there's mm -hmm. lots of energy ones. Like My cats love the Schumann program as well. Um, yeah, that's a great... It's a fantastic one and you cannot do any harm, folks, if you choose a... Uh, there's no such thing as a wrong program because what it does is it's reading your body's energy and bringing it back into harmony so you cannot do any harm it's not like you think oh my goodness i put the wrong one in um you can use it like kim has got and like i normally do in a pouch around your neck or in your pocket i don't put it in my pocket because i'm not going to lose it so i put it in the pouch around my neck and tuck it down my top um you can use it with animals it's preloaded with different things ready to go i use it traveling all the time so this is fantastic. Now, the tiny little baby Bionexus, look how small it is in my hand. Um, this yeah. is a beautiful one. And again, I will put the technical video that Carol and I did be below. But what do you love most about this one, Kim? Okay, so this is the key for people on this one because I love both equally. And if you said to me, could you choose between the two? That's a very, very difficult call. Because I I couldn't be without my photon my biophotonic. I just, you know, and with every iteration, they get better and better. And I love the versatility and the fact that I can choose to set it to a brain, you know, get up the alpha or delta waves going in my brain. There's so many different specific things that are already stored in here, i.e., outside, that you can then put inside. It's still reading the body but you're the one who's making the decision about what frequencies are going in. So that's really key on that. And with this beautiful Nexus that you just, maybe you'd hold it up again, uh, just to show people again, see it's, I don't know whether it's half, the, I think it could be half the size. Now people are saying, why don't, why don't you have it with you? Well, I, I'm gonna tell you why, and this is the vital difference. It's beside the bed, why? Okay. I'm a meditator. I like to get up in the morning and really focus on, you know, I'm an affirmation mantra guy because if I wake up grumpy and we all do that, I try and change my grumpiness before I go out into my day because the greatest mantra of all is thank you. I'm alive. It's a miracle that I'm alive and I want to enhance the miracle of my life. At night, I tr also try and do a gratitude practice. And there was a time before Nexus came along, this beautiful little machine, 
that I might go, oh, you know, maybe I'll just watch a little something before going to bed. And so the brain is whirring, you've got your Wi-Fi on. And even though we all know it's better to sleep in a Wi-Fi free environment and not check your phone or have your phone near your bed recharging, absolutely not good for you. I could go on with this big list of things. Nexus comes along and this is the key. It only works or optimally works when you're disconnected from the Wi-Fi, there's no Wi-Fi in the room. In other words, you've turned it off, your TV's off. It's all right to have a light on, but essentially you want to cut down as much as you can on the electro smog, because literally what this beautiful device is doing is it's reading, really is reading your energy rather like we went back to the beginning of this conversation with the big machines, the biocom, and it's really more reading all the frequencies in your body. It's picking up all that information and then transmuting that into, okay, this is the frequency, this is what we need to put in. And before this conversation, I was thinking how as a non-scientist, me, you know, it'd be rather like me trying to describe, you know, how one of Elon Musk's rockets actually work and i'm thinking how would i explain that and then i came up with this you know it's rather like a radio you know the old-fashioned radios where the signal is weak and it's like really annoying because there's a beautiful bit of classical music playing but it just goes goes in and out so that could be rather like the energy of a cell and the nexus is picking up on that and saying ah okay we need to strengthen that frequency in the body. We need to bring back the harmony, the cellular strength in this particular area. It might pick up on something, some inflammation in the body, and it'll go, okay, well, we need to, we need to take down that inflammation. We'll do that by strengthening this frequent, frequency from within his or her body, or upping another one that acts as an inflammation decrease. And the reason that I'm kind of aligning to this particular description of Nexus is that the Dutch Scientific Institute or this amazing laboratory, I believe it's in Germany, and I will send this to you if you haven't already got it, but it's very recent. They actually tested for Nexus and they were able to ascertain that the, the effect on inflammation was as powerful as taking a really high dose of, I think it was ibuprofen or Panadol, one of those two. And that proves that it really does work. It does what it says on the box. And there are two ways of using it. Either you can rest it on the body, which is when it's you know rather, uh, it's just using the antenna and it's picking up and really scanning the whole of your system to then give you the tools that your body needs to repair, to decrease inflammation, to, to regenerate and all those different things. And I love that setting. And sometimes, by the way, I'll, I'll lie it up here yeah. in the center of my chest. I don't know what, but I'm, I love putting it down. You know, we, 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 we get to a certain age and we get a little bit of inflammation down around prostate. I put it over my prostate and it's just fantastic the results and then the, my another favorite is on the third eye i love that and this is just on the the setting where it's using your body and you're lying it on your body but that's only half the story of the nexus what i really love using it for is like I, let's say i'm having a really difficult day or i'm having a period where there are all sorts of challenges and i think that everybody watching this can relate to the fact that it hasn't been easy this year I and mean, if you if you're into energy uh, astrology it's you know the, the 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 different eclipses these you know we're going through a very difficult time collectively on the earth and for me, this is an incredible tool because you can hold the Nexus and you can put it on a voice activation setting. And even though I may be feeling like I've got this, I can speak into it and it's going, actually, you're quite stressed. Yes. I think your, your cortisol levels might be a bit high. 
and it gets you to really, really focus. And then, for example, you can speak in to the nexus an affirmation. And obviously, particularly good one is personal health, you know, or that you would really like to see something become manifest in your life, or you're just simply giving gratitude for life. And that mantra will be um, exaggerated in the body. It will be confirmed on a cellular level. It's an, it's an extraordinary tool, this. And look, I'm only a few months into experimenting with it, but already I'm feeling that we're onto something here that's never been seen before, not, not in my experience. And I hope that helps explain why it's so difficult in a way to choose between the two because uh, yeah. they're they're both incredible healing tools oh i love it kim i love it i there's so much i resonate with what, what you said and i'm very conscious to not overrun on this interview because i don't but okay the bionexus is just beautiful in terms of it is working with you at a personal level now what you were saying about the mantras and the voice activation this is so wonderful because yeah. Um, you know, I am a naturally very stressy person. I have to work really hard. This is why I do a lot of what I do, because naturally I have, um, you know, I'm, I'm quite a warrior. Um, so these okay. are absolutely invaluable for me because I can use this whenever I need to. For as little as five minutes will rebalance yeah. or you yeah. can all overnight, which I do as well. And it's so powerful. You can literally feel the difference. And the great thing is about this one is you do not need to know. You don't need to put any thought into it. So when we're looking at moving more out of our brain into our heart center, you don't yep. need to put any thought into this. You can literally turn it on one button, select the voice bit or the just the actual resonance and hold it. You can hold it in your hand. You can put it somewhere. It's just beautiful. Um, this one is equally good. So whichever one you go for, you're going to get amazing results. Um, if you've got animals that you want to work with a lot, yep. I would go for the biophotonic because that's much easier to work with with animals than the bionexus. The results are brilliant for both of them. And Kim and I are just passionate about sharing solutions. You know, we we live in a world where there's a lot going on it's very exciting times but these solutions to me this is ancient wisdom being combined with modern technology yes. in the most beautiful beautiful way to make it accessible and like kim said we're always lending these out you can have one per family one per community there's some very good therapists working with these as well so yes. you've got it when you need it. When you feel that threat coming on, if you're traveling, if you're going to have a difficult conversation, going to see the mother-in-law, whatever it might be, you've got this at your fingertips because the quicker you get your body back into balance, your energy resonance back into balance, the less impact it's going to have on you. Yeah. I love enthusiasm and all you do, Kim. You know, and you know, every, everything that you just described, what I love about the Nexus, it's like, if you if you can't make a decision, just having it beside your bed, you turn it on in the way that you just suggested, and it restores all the energy systems of the body, you know, to so that they're just working better. So you're giving yourself a, a, a tune up in the easiest way possible. And you're but the cool thing about it is that you have to do it in a conscious way. And what are we here for if not to become more conscious, more present? So it's also a teaching tool. You know, it's, you know, that very few people can say that. And also I wanted to just add into it is that we both know the people behind this. And, you know, they're, they're very kind of like um, very modest, very humble people. But the passion that they have and the real, you know, the determination and the commitment is really, really extraordinary. And I think often when we we get together and we chat or whatever, we we you know we we forget to shout out. I know I do, but I'm bringing it up today because it, I just want people to know that the effort behind this and the people behind this, they are so wanting the world to heal and people to heal. And and intention is such a massive part of all of this. I'm so pleased you said that, Kim, because it's so important. And they are very shy, which is why they're not on Facebook <laughs> with us, because their focus and their concentration 
is really into um, getting these devices available because there's solutions everywhere. We don't need to stress, yeah. there's solutions everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely can do it by a mind of her own. If you're like me, where I can, will continue to study that to my dying days, but I'm not there yet, I love have something that can really help support me on that journey. And what's even better is for my listeners watching this, there is 20% off anything in the site, whether it's the EMF ship protection shields, whether it's either of those two machines. So there's a code in the description box below for 20% off for a limited time only, because these people are passionate about getting these into the right hands. Now, Kim yes. and I are very happy to come back and talk more about these. Um, we can't possibly cover everything in one talk. I'm going to put the links to the other interviews below that for those people that want to dive more into the science of things. And please put your questions below or contact me and I'm very happy to come back and do another interview to cover some of those questions. My email address is always below. Hey, look, you know, that's amazing. I didn't know about that. That's fantastic. And just before, what I did was I grabbed a couple of very short testimonials. Oh. So it's like real people in the real world. And I just said, have we got time for me just yes. to read a couple of them? That yes. would just be brilliant. Um, this is uh, someone from America. Her name is Pam. I'm looking forward to the Biomedis uh, global uh, online presence even more. I've had depression on and off for many years, but since using my device for the past four months, I felt like a dark cloud was lifting. I'm grateful to the inventors for bringing this technology to the world. Boom, boom, that's beautiful. And here's another one. My knees swell up when I walk even short distances. My doctors describe, uh, prescribed, excuse me, anti-inflammatory for 15 years, but they only mask the pain. I got the device and it's actually doing something on a much deeper level. I've now stopped taking the tablets and have been walking longer than I normally do without any pain or swelling. For me, that's a key one. You know. Uh, these years of like, oh, I've got to do this the rest of my life. Something else comes along and something lifts. And then one last little one is um, uh, I've been using my device uh, for four months and my type one diabetes is completely cleared, much to the surprise of the doctors. They said this couldn't be done. And they said, whatever I'm doing, keep doing it. Now, we can't make a claim for it, but the point is that someone wrote that to us. And by the way, there are hundreds and hundreds of these sorts of letters. And I think that, you know, it brings me to the one of the biggest points is that on this planet right now, what is more important than our own ability to discern, experiment, do the best we can for ourselves and our family and our communities? And for me, it's about health sovereignty. It's about the right to choose how we look after ourselves, our, our, our animals, our environment and our family. And um, this is really important. I love it. Thank you so much for your time. For anyone that's watching, depending on what device you're watching on, there's a little down arrow and there's a description box which will bring up all the links and the contacts. Don't be shy about asking questions. Um, you can contact me privately if the, uh, by email if that suits you better. Um, the support this company give are amazing. They are ready to use. From the moment you receive one, you can get using it. Take your power back, everyone. And Kim, yes. I love everything you do so much. I'm so yeah. grateful for you joining us today. Thank you so much. And I really hope we can talk again soon. Yeah, let, let's do this regularly. It's lovely to see you again. And okay. good luck with everyone out there. Come on, let's get this together and let's really heal. Heal each other, ourselves and the planet. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Later. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. And if you feel inspired, please do share with your friends and family. My goal is to inspire as many people as I can to live their best lives, to stay curious and to raise their consciousness and that of the collective. So to do this, I need to reach as many people as possible. And this needs your help. If you feel drawn, would you be willing to share your favourite episode with five different people? This helps us spread the word and also helps me encourage some exciting new guests to take part in this podcast. If you feel drawn to do that, I would be very, very grateful. All the links and discount codes where applicable for all the products that I support 
are on my two websites, katherineedwards.life and katherineedwardsacademy.com. All of the products are personally tried and tested by me, my family and my clients. And finally, please do press the follow or subscribe button, depending which platform you're listening on. And above all, stay curious and stay free.